Hello, I'm Libby Bolan and today I will show you how to change uh, your user password on Ubuntu server. So let's get started. First, I will connect to my uh, virtual machine using SSH Ubuntu VM. Um, now if I use cat um, ATC password file, you will see here that um, I have a user review.balan uh, which I previously created but for this user I didn't set up any password so if I type su review.balan and then I have to type a password if I type a random password you, you will see that I get an authentication, authentication failure also, if I open a new tab and type ssh uh, liviu.balan at http.liviu.balan.com, I will have to type the password for this account. If I type a random password, you will see that I get a permission denied uh, error. So, uh, in order to avoid this, I have to set up a password. If I don't have any password and I'm logged in, logged in to my virtual machine, I can log in to this account using sudo su and then the username leave you that uh, Here I will have to type my sudo password and now I am connected to my leave you that uh, user account which I which I've previously created. Uh, what you have to remember about changing user password uh, using password command is that a normal user uh, may only change the password for his account while the super user may change the password for any account. So if I type here password Mm, command and type enter I have to type my current password in order to change the password for this account but if I but because I don't know the password because it's not set up I I am not able to change my own password so um, in order to set up a password for for an account, I have to go to an account which uh, has sudo rights, for example, leave you, uh, leave you account, and here I will have, have to type sudo um, password and then the user for which I want to change the password. Now I will have to enter uh, a password and then I have to confirm the previously entered password. As you can see, the password uh, was updated successfully. And if I type su leave you that balan, if I type the previously password, you will see here that now I'm log logged in on my leave you that balan account. Also, here if I want to connect using SSH to my virtual machine using leave you that balan account, I have to type the previously set up password and everything it's okay now because i'm on my uh leave that balan account i and i have a set up password i can i can use the password command and here i will have to type my current password <coughs> and then i will have to type a new password Remember that when you want to change your own password, a set of rules are applied to your password. For example, if I type the same password, uh, you will see that the password uh, is unchanged. If I type a similar password, you will see that uh, new and old password are too similar. If I type, for example, a sequence of six, ca six uh, characters which are the same, uh, 
you will see that new password can cannot be a palindrome and stuff like this. So if I uh, use the password command again, and if I um, enter my current password and the strong password, you will see that the password were updated. Um, okay. Um, if I exit this account um, on uh, and I go to leave you account, now you can see here that you can use the minus D option in order to delete a user's password make it empty. So if I use the minus D option for the leaveyou.balan account, this is the same thing as uh, I didn't, I, I, is the same thing that I uh, didn't use the password to set up the password for the leaveyou.balan account. So if I use uh, su to uh, change user to leaveyou.balan, now I have to type the password. Uh, if I use the previously set up password, you will see an authentication failure because no password is set to this user. Another uh, thing that you may use is uh, the expire option. So I will set, I will reset the password for Livio Balan. Okay. And now I will use the minus E option. Um, the minus E option immediately expire on user account password. Uh, and in effect can force a user to change his password at uh, the user's next login. So if I use su leave you that balloon. Now if I type the password that I that I've uh, set to this user, you can see here that I'm forced to change my password. So the current password and the new password. And now the password were set. Now if I use the minus D option again, exit minus D. Uh, I will show you something very interesting. If you use uh, minus AS, you can see some info about your current users. As you can see here, uh, the, this is a list <coughs> with all the users uh, on the current operating system. And uh, the status information consists in of uh, seven fields. The first field is the user's uh, is the user's login name, Liveu. This one were created when the operating system were installed. The other one I've previous cre previously created. The second field um, indicates if the user account uh, has a locked password, has no password, or has a useful password. Here, as you can see, for Livio I have a password, but for Livio uh, uh, I have no password. Um, okay, the third field uh, gives the date of the last password uh, change. Um, the next four fields 
are the minimum age, maximum age, warning period and identity, uh, inactivity peri period for the password. These ages are expressed in days. So these are the fields. Okay, if you want to learn more about uh, the password command, you can use man and then password command. Here you will see a list of all the options that you can use with this command. Uh, if you want to learn more about managing the users on Ubuntu and some some info about Ubuntu in general, or if you want to learn more about web technologies, I recommend to check out my tutorials on YouTube and also um, my website, livebalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.